What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Burley Fishing. Today, I've got a special episode for you, a special unboxing, if you will, on the channel. We're gonna be testing out a new box on the market called Tackle Monkey. You can go to TackleMonkey.com if you wanna check them out for yourselves. Otherwise, stay tuned. We're gonna be unboxing this baby today. In fact, today we're gonna to be unboxing dose boxes because after they found out that I bought one, yes, purchased one with my own dang money, they sent me one. I'm interested to see what the heck that is. I think what they said is the date I had purchased it or whatever got me like the previous month's box and they wanted to make sure I got the October box. So, I mean, kudos to them. I thought that was pretty cool. I don't even know what's in these yet. Good, bad, and different. Just so you guys know, I'll give you my best, most honest opinion. As far as what I see from a blind unboxing, I'll do what I can here, but I just wanna say thank you to them for sending me the free box, super cool, and I wanna make sure you guys know one of these boxes was free, to be fair to you. All right, real quick before we open that box, if this is your first time stopping by the channel and you guys like content like this, as well as reviews and fishing videos, consider subscribing to the channel. I'd appreciate it very much, love to see you on it. And you can smash the like on this video, as well as ring the notification bell so you can see when I post more videos. Let's open these bad boys up. One of them has, this one has an orange dot on it. I don't know what that means. Uh, it doesn't say like open this one first or anything like that. No idea, I'm gonna open them both. We're just gonna go two boxes here. I have no idea like how many baits are supposed to come in them or what. I'm scared, super scared. Okay, okay, guys, the, the one of them, the orange one, there's, look, there's spider webs in there. <laughs> this is the October box, got it. All right, so let's do this then. We'll open this one first. Jeez, that is, that's a sticker, guys. That's a giant, that's a giant heckin' sticker. Bam, all right, so we got a big old sticker. So we're gonna open this one first, do the October box last, go with this spooky theme, right? Uh, but we'll do both boxes on this video, and then if I do pick this box up for future months, it'll be one a month, I'll be paying for it. So here we go. I've got some paper, some paper in there. Kind of like opening a present. Okay, 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 okay. Holy friggin' heck. Yo, we got some work to do. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Let, let's, let's, quick pause. Um, I was kind of getting this from their ads that I had been seeing, and a lot of you guys had been requesting this box to me to unbox on the channel. Uh, it looks like they throw gear into the box. So, Full disclosure, this is gonna be a little different. This is kind of the thing, is like a lot of these boxes are trying to find a way to set themselves apart. So think of it this way, most of the boxes we open on the channel are not really apples to apples or oranges to oranges, as it were, to compare to other boxes. So this one's gonna have gear in it that kind of sets it apart, makes it different. Sixth Sense only does house baits, makes it a little bit different. MTB does kind of a mix of name brands and a lot more like three quarters kind of house baits or in-house brands. Uh, Monster Bass tries to mix it up, does a lot of small companies as well as big name brands, and now some Monster Bass house brands. So they're all doing something different. Uh, you guys saw the cigar box, <laughs> you know? There you go, that's Smoking Hot Lures Club. They're in a cigar box, something different. So let's see what these guys are all about. I'm gonna start with the gear. I think we should start with the gear, let's do that. Okay, so these boxes run about $27.95 a month, unless you do like their three, six, 12 month deals and you get a little bit cheaper, right? It doesn't say how many baits are supposed to be in the box. So we're going purely on value. Uh, so it's a little bit cheaper than the other boxes I get. You guys know Monster Bass is like $36.99 unless you do a longer deal. MTB, the Elite's $39.99. So this is closer to like the pro box price. So you would assume you'd get like six baits, but they're running gear and gear runs a little bit more expensive than the baits do. And there's probably a lower margin on them too. So let's keep that into consideration here. Uh, so off the top, Gear-wise, two, technically three pieces of gear in here, and then there are four baits for lures in this box. So let's, let's, let's work through this, okay? So the first thing I notice is that there are two loosely packed tie-downs, I'm guessing, tie-downs, uh, which, I mean, are definitely useful items to have. Seem like okay quality Velcro. And uh, you can you can Velcro stuff down. I can't. I don't think they went to anything necessarily, but they're in this box, so we got some tie downs. Um, 
there are no instructions, no, you know, there's no card in here. There's nothing to like indicate what you're supposed to do with these things. So interesting, interesting. Okay. Second thing I would say is valuable. And that is a line cutters ring cutter. I picked these up before these aren't cheap. And this is what I'm saying is like, if they do include gear, you can expect less lures because of that. Uh, simply because, you know, things cost money, man. So they, they gotta have some sort of a, a margin on these boxes to make any sort of a profit. So I get it. Like I get what they're, what they're doing. Oh, they, look, they logoed it. Boom, Tackle Monkey logo on the line cutters. That is a nifty touch. Um, if you guys haven't used these before, line cutters are phenomenal. It has like this ceramic style blade in there that will cut through any fishing line, really all sorts of other things that you might wanna cut through. The ring style, I'd say is probably my least favorite of the three styles I've used. So they have like a stick on, like a 3M stick on style. They have the ring style, boom, you can, you can literally wear it. You could put this on your fishing rod. My buddy Paul, co-host of the Burley Fishing Podcast, go like and subscribe. He has this attached to his Hobie Pro Angler seat, like just on the, the sidebar for that. So you could do that as well, but my upside down. Bam, upside down. So, but nonetheless, these things cut even higher pound test fishing line. You can cut through it like a hot knife through butter. These things are dope. And like I said, they ain't cheap. So I think this is where a lot of the value of this particular box came in, I'm assuming. Um, all right, next up, I'm just gonna get this one out of the way. I'm scared to fish this thing. It'd be huge. Bam, this is a giant crank. I know you guys down south are gonna be like, that's not a giant crank. That's a normal size crank. Well, I fish up north, so <laughs> this is a giant for me, for certainly. Uh, all right, so I dig the color scheme. So this is a Jenko Fishing. It's got VMC hooks. Definitely a huge... Guys, if I ever do an unboxing where I don't drop the crankbait, somebody applaud me, all right? Good job, me. Anyways. What if I just broke the bill? Wouldn't that be crazy? All right, so we got the Janko crankbait. Look at that thing, look at the flash. Oh my gosh. That has just an insane amount of like reflective property. <laughs> look at that, that's so nuts. All right, so we got sort of that citrus shad, right? The blues, the greens, the chartreuse and yellows, the orange, you have the gigantic lip, it's not, Honestly, it's not too heavy. I thought just looking at this in the box, I thought it was gonna be a lot heavier. So this is, uh, this is one ounce, which ain't light. Uh, it's 20 foot diving depth. This thing, you are going for those deep trenches. You are, you are looking for some fishies on the bottom and you're gonna pull them right off. Uh, shape of the bait looks pretty good. Paint job looks good. Look at the eyes on that thing. His eyes are friggin' dope. I like it. And then the hooks, of course, they're VMC hooks, so they're sharp as all heck. It's not quite as big as this one and a half ounce uh, soda pop can that I got from Six Cents a while back. As you guys can see, it's quite a bit smaller, actually. Uh, but still, just not a size crankbait that I usually grab for or use. So this is more of a 25, 30 foot diving depth, and this one is more of a 20 foot. So interesting. I could potentially be using this. I, I will. We'll try. Weather has not been cooperative. Uh, so I'm hoping my fishing season isn't all the way over just yet, but it's getting gosh dang close. So we'll see. We'll see if we can pull something, some sleeping giant up off the bottom. Neat. Next up, we've got a couple of these. It's almost time to be fishing these. So this is actually like, seems to be a seasonally appropriate box. So kudos to them because we don't get a lot of those from some people out there. Uh, so we got the Steel Shad, which is a blade bait, right? So kind of a, looks like a flat lipless, like you squish a lipless, right? So blade baits are pretty great, especially if you're jigging off of drop-offs or in deep sections. If you can find uh, some cover, something, some laydowns down deep, you can just drop your anchor and just start jigging one of these things around. They have some crazy erratic action as you lift up on it. It's got a decently heavy belly weight to it. I mean, it's a classic bait. It's the original steel shad. It's a classic bait. It will definitely catch fish. 
Uh, so as they say on the box, imitates injured bait fish, any depth, any fish, <laughs> generates more strikes. Check it out. All right. Classic bait. Cool thing about this. This is a, it's got like a gold reflective sticker. I mean, it is a sticker it, that, that reflective coating there. It's a sticker, uh, but it seems to hold up decently well. The other one I have is silver. So now I can vary up the colors if I need to. Not bad at all. All right. We got two things left in here, guys. The next one we have is the Azuma, the fish Azuma. It is called the lipless crankbait, the lipless crankbait. Interesting packaging, this little box here. Let's see what we got. Check that out. Decent body shape to it. Very tinny, super heavy tinny rattle. I like the color on it. It's like this shiny copper to it. Nice looking eyes on it. That kind of bulge out a little bit. It's like a fatter, look at that thing. Look at the belly on that thing. This thing eats. <laughs> so yeah, fatter lipless, super loud. Again, something we could be ripping through grass, over shallow cover, or fishing deep. Go and jig it. I mean, we gotta find the fish this time of season for me. It's like, it's all about finding the fish. I'm using the sonar more than I do all year round. You gotta locate them and usually when you locate them, they're kind of bunched up and then you can just rip through them with one of these. So nice. Again, seasonally appropriate. I can appreciate that compared to other boxes we've been opening on the channel. All right, I know more about this brand now. Thank you, you guys. So this is the Buddha Baits, and it looks like a craw. It's called the four inch baby mama. You guys know the deal with these. <coughs> these things are potent. All right, ooh, this is sweet. So we got a chunky craw. Look how fat that thing is, boom. Yeah, you're gonna thread that on EWG, Texas rig it, jig it, trailer on a jig. I mean, you guys know the drill. You can do all sorts of stuff with craw baits. Uh, switch things up, do it as a trailer on a spinner bait or a chatter bait. Do something cool. Lots of fun. Um, smaller claw appendages on this. A bit smaller, as you guys can see there. A little tiny, a little tiny guys. Uh, and then these little flapping appendages up there. So interesting, like a little craw beaver style kind of bait. Comes in green pumpkin and seems decently durable. Probably hold up. So there you go. So that's the that's this box, guys. So again, $27.95 for these boxes. So let me know in the comments below if you think you're seeing that value. So we have this full pack, by the way, this eight count. Full pack there of the Buddha baits. Beaver style, craw kind of pattern bait. We got that Janko 20 foot dive-in crank bait. We got that copper lipless, the Azuma. We got the steel shad and then one, two, three, four. Yeah. And we got line cutters and uh, you got a little tackle monkey logo on those. And then we got uh, we got two of these things for some reason. No idea. All right. So cool. Nifty. Question is, did you guys see the $27.95 value in that? That's what you got to think about. So let me know in the comments below and then stay tuned. We got another one of these boxes. So here comes the Halloween box. There's like, oh it's full of confettis. So we got all sorts of like these, these little things, these like spiders, spider webs. Look at this one. It's a orange cat right there. Nifty. All right. So let's uh, open this guy up again with the tissue on here. Yo, come on, dude. <laughs> Well, you got a skeleton. There's your cranium Halloween themed, you guys. This is the one they sent me for free, by the way. So again, I definitely appreciate that they sent me the box to check this thing out, do the review on the channel. I think, I think it's pretty cool anytime a fishing box includes some M&Ms. You got some candy, dude. All right, so it's definitely a Halloween themed box. We got, we got candy, we got that confetti, we got the skull, we got uh, random sticker. I'm, I'm assuming this bait is in this box. And then, yeah, everything looks kind of Halloweeny in here. So start from the top. We've got, what the heck is this? Janko creature weight, creature weight. Interesting. Okay. 
So it's a high density lead weight. So it's a weight, it's got eyes on both sides and it's got this odd shape to it, right? So very interesting weight that you could use really for anything, uh, but they're, they mention, you know, obviously it's, it's almost got that teardrop kind of shape to it. Texas rigging, Carolina rigging, it's heavy. What is this? This is an ounce. This is a one ounce weight right here. So super heavy. Use it for anything you would a heavy weight. One ounce is generally my Carolina rig weight. So I'll be throwing that maybe, or do a super heavy Texas rig or something. Use it for some sort of weighted setup. Interesting, the creature weight. And they do say on the back here, like the, the weird shape to it causes it to fall a little bit differently than your normal like bullet weights might. We've got the AccuCull. What is this? Hold a hook. So you got the AccuCull, which is an all-in-one mini keeper, hook keeper, bait keeper, whatever you wanna, wanna call it. it comes with a whole bunch of O-rings for attachment purposes. And then we've got the uh, the thingy, thingy right there. So this actually, it looks like it just straps to, let me show you this without the glare. I don't know if you guys can see this. Kind of just straps to the fishing rod and then you can hook up to that. So if you've got any rod blanks that don't have a hook keeper on it or you don't like the hook keeper. So for example, for me, it'd be the uh, Silverado I have. I have a medium ducket Silverado that has the hook keeper way at the base of the blank, like in the handle, and it doesn't fit into my kayak crate. If I have lures attached down there, I can't put it in the crate or break the lure off or do something worse. So I don't use that hook keeper very much at all. Uh, so neat. Maybe I'll throw this on there. We'll see what we can do. All right. Okay, I, I, I gotta do this next one next. Um, this hurts me a little bit, but uh, they really like this Janko brand, it seems, in this box. So we got Janko in here again. Not that necessarily anything's wrong with Janko, but this bait in particular did end up on my least favorite baits list. So if you guys listen to that podcast, you generally know the deal with this, but this is the Rip Knocker. I don't even have it on my wall. You wanna know why, I'll show you. Here we go. And the reason it's not on the wall is because it is a hookless, lipless bait. The reason it's hookless is because it's a through line bait and they send you this treble. So we got a VMC treble, glad it's VMC, but VMC treble there. The idea is that you would thread your line right through the lipless bait and then you would tie it onto your treble here. The way it works is you fish this like you would a lipless and with the line having tension and no fish being on the hook, it's going to stay like this as you fish it. There's no back treble, which means the fish is gonna have to friggin' eat this thing. But if you get hung up on grass per se, you're supposed to be able to pull this out a little bit easier. But the main reason they did it is that if a fish gets attached to a lipless bait, usually it could use the weight of that lure to get itself free. So their thought is if a fish bites this, this guy, this guy, the main body of the lure is gonna slide up the line. And then you just have to fight a fish on this little hook here. And it can't do anything to get off of that. There's no weight to this, which is a great concept. I just have not seen much luck on this thing. Now that said, this paint job is friggin' cool. This is a red craw. And you can see like the whole exoskeleton style of that craw in there. So sweet paint job, matches up to Halloween time. Not a big fan of the rip knocker, <sighs> but for the people, we'll give it another go. We'll see if we can do something with it, all right? All right, moving on. Don't lose your troubles if you do that. Oh, I should probably do this one next. Then, then we get one dude wipes. It's a flushable dude wipes. Um, is this like the, 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 the portable shower? Is that the idea here? Is this just like you stinky and take out this wipe, wipe the pits, right? I'll put it in my tackle bag. There you go. So next time I'm out fishing, if Paul goes, man, you are ripe and I don't wanna hang out with you. I'd be like, dude, we each got a kayak. We're not in the same boat, just go that way. Or I'll use my dude wipes. I don't know, <laughs> we'll do something like that. Recap on this box so far. This box seems to have more things. Again, that line cutter ring from that first box might be the reason for this, but this one so far has the dude wipes, whatever that value is. You got the 
the hook keeper tool, you've got the rip knocker, and we got three more, yeah, two bags of plastics and then one more bait. So decent amount of stuff in here, plus, plus M&Ms, plus M&Ms. M&Ms makes it worth it. And plus this little, this little skull toy that my kids can play with now. I don't know, it's got a hole through the top. Maybe you can like through, what if you just rip knocker this? You could just drill a hole in it. We'll put this, check it out. Unintentional bait. You guys think this will catch fish? I don't know, maybe. So next up, we've got a Molex. All right. Got a half ounce, sick looking spinner bait, and it is an Ike Special Titanium Spinner Bait. This is Mike Iconelli's signature spinner bait in half an ounce, and it's got a sick looking orange blade. So they call it a finesse spinner bait. Is it supposed to be bent this way? It is. Check this out. So it has this special bent wire that's on purpose. And supposedly that gives it a better vibration in the water. Interesting. Okay. I love the fish head. Check out the skirt on this thing. So we got like neon orange with some green pumpkin there and black. So definitely very Halloween-y. And then the actual like jig head here has some pretty cool design with this like red pinkish cracked paint job up top we've got a copper willow leaf blade that's got the divots in it so it'll move a bit more water a little more vibration and then we've got that powder coated orange boom other blade that looks great i like that a lot ultra thin wire so they call it a finesse spinner bait but there you go look at that bad boy that's nice I like that. And we still got two more and then tons and tons of confetti in here. Uh, so we're gonna hit both of these real quick. We've got, oh, this one's sweet. So we got a net bait, looks like more of a trailer for a jig style lure. This one's called the, sorry, there's an orange cat on that. The Kickin' Bee Chunk. So the, a chunk, so it's a jig trailer, ideally. But there you go, it's Okeechobee Craw. So you got that blue, very, very bright blue, blue flake up there, green pumpkin on the backside, and then those big flapping, reminds me of like a Zoom speed craw, but those big flapping craw appendages there down at the bottom. Nice, nice jig trailer. I like it a lot. It's definitely a, more of a sample pack. You got five in here, definitely a smaller package deal, but nonetheless, decent plastic. And lastly, we got this one brand I don't think I've heard of before, and they have their Gmail address on here, not an address, so that could be why, uh, but it's by sickle, as in two sickles, right? And it's a black trick worm. Love me a trick worm, and it's huge. This is a long one, check that out. It's a long trick worm, coming down to that tapered in there. Uh, it's flat on the bottom, which gives it a little bit of a different action, but here we go, check this out. A little bit of stretch to it, a decent stretch there. There we go, I gotta get this into focus, there we go. So you got a bit of stretch to it, got your tapered end down here, and I'd say it's a worm. I'd say it's a pretty worm. It's a good worm, look at that black worm. I do not really have a lot of like black plastics, so cool, interested in trying that out, seeing what that does for me. Love a trick worm, especially this time of year. Okay, that box was packed. Between the two, one was kind of lackluster in terms of what was included just quantity wise, and one was packed to the brim. So I don't know what that means for consistency with this box, but I do think I'm seeing the value from the box. You spend $27.95, so you should see $30 minimum value in it. I think there's more than that in here for sure. Uh, and it's definitely introducing me to some interesting baits. I, you know, was iffy about the Halloween theme. I was like, what are we gonna get? Like some joking stuff here, but I can see these things working. I don't know if I have the exact right conditions for all these things to work. Usually I'm throwing orange baits in, you know, dirtier water, and right now, all the water around me, for whatever reason, is crystal clear. So if the water level goes up in the rivers, I could see a great opportunity throwing some of these around. And black worms, I definitely need some darker water for that. So we'll see. Still, I could find a way to make it work. And at the very least, I promise you guys, I'll test it out in the burly fishing tank. So we got that option at least as well. All right, you guys, two boxes for the price of one on this video. 
Big shout out to Tackle Monkey for sending me that box for free. Cool kind of like Halloween concept to it, but I wanna know from you guys, how did this box stack up? How does it compare to other boxes we open on the channel? And try to keep in mind too that they do offer gear in the box, which I believe puts it in sort of a separate category to some of the other brands. So again, not apples to apples. If you're gonna throw gear in the box that takes up a large portion of the value, I believe, especially with something like line cutters, uh, comparative to the lures, and it's gonna cut into the profit margin really for the company. So interesting to see like how this business model plays out for them and how this box concept plays out. It's not the first one to do it by no means. There are other boxes that do the gear thing as well. Uh, but what did you guys think overall? Tackle Monkey, good, bad, indifferent? Hit me up in the comments, let me know. What were your favorite baits from these two boxes? What were your least favorite baits from these two boxes? Like, how do you like the, uh, the Rip Knocker, for example? <laughs> Tell you what, you made it to the end of the video. Congrats and thank you. Should I keep this subscription, yes or no? Hit me up in the comments below. Again, favorite bait, least favorite bait. What do you think of the box? But overall, should I keep getting the box? It's up to you guys. I'll, I'll, I'll put it out there. I would love to be getting through the winter five boxes a month. Should give me enough content to put out to you guys in combination with other gear reviews and things I'll be doing. And eventually, please soon, ice fishing. In the meantime, you guys might be getting some steelhead or some salmon action as well. We'll see what goes down. Thanks for watching today. You guys have been fantastic as always. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, consider subscribing if you like unboxings, gear reviews, and fishing trips. And smash the like on this video. Ring that notification bell so you can see when I post more videos. And I'll see you guys on the water.